follow the Lamb to the Last Supper. Amen. Why? Because, again, listen to me closely. You won't hear this theology everywhere. Every time we share the Lord's Supper, it is not a reenactment of the Last Supper. It's not a reenactment of the Passover meal. It's not a reenactment, a reenactment of that Last Supper that Jesus had in the disciples. It is a reliving yes. the experience. Mm -hmm. Because the Passover meal is not finished yet. It's not concluded yet. Because there's supposed to be four cups of wine. Jesus only went to the third, which is the cup of blessing. He said, I'm not going to drink the fourth one. I'm not going to drink again with you till I see you at the marriage feast of the Lamb, till I see you in my kingdom. So there's no conclusion. There's no finishing of the meal. It's an open-ended Last Supper. Are you getting this? Yeah. So, my question to you is this. Let's see if it's, what's now? it's called the Passover. How many remember in Exodus the story about the Passover? Right? God said that he would send the death angel in Egypt. Is that right? He said you're going to kill a lamb right before and you're going to eat that spotless lamb. You're going to roast it. Along with the bitter herbs and everything else that was with that meal. Watch not what I'm saying. Watch now. Very carefully. And he said, you're going to have the blood of that lamb in a basin. Then you're going to take that blood. And you are going to smear it on the lentil on the top part of your doorpost and on both sides and the threshold. And when the death angel comes and sees the blood, he's going to pass over you. It's called the pass over me. Death bypassed all the children of Israel that have the blood smeared upon the doorposts. When we come to follow the Lamb, it begins with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory. Because you and I have had the blood of Jesus Christ smeared yes. all over us. Somebody shout in. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad this morning that the death angel has no power over you as a believer today? Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection of the life. And he that believeth on me shall never die. Somebody shall him. He conquered death because we have the blood of the spotless Lamb of God. Elbow. If you want to make it to this, you need to have the blood over you. Yes. Amen. And the blood is there not only to secure this future. It is there to give you a sense of an overwhelming presence of God, an overwhelming sense of the grace and the mercy of God that overshadows you every single day that you live. Overshadowing you in your trials and temptations and tribulations, in the times of trying in your faith. The blood of Jesus Christ is still there covering you. I dare say that for many of us, if not all of us, at some point, we could have died many times over here. Yes. But the blood of Christ was there. Many times we could have backslid. Many times we could have denied Christ. But somehow sin did not conquer in our lives. Somehow we have received victory the, by the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The first place we need to follow the Lamb is to the blood of Jesus Christ. We need to, it's called the Passover for a reason. Death has now been conquered. Sin's been forgiven. Yes. Punishment has been eliminated. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Following the Lamb. If during the tribulation they were able to find their way home during the tribulation, there's no reason why we can't find our way home. Right. But it starts at the blood level, the Passover. Amen. And that was the last supper, which is not finished yet. It's an open-ended supper. It's an open-ended meal. Now, for some of you, you never saw that before. You thought it's something that took place 2,000 years ago. No, no. That meal is unended. It is an open-ended. And every time, now watch, remember I keep telling you this more than once? Remember that Judas left the table to deny Christ and sell him out? Yes. A real traitor here. Watch now. Jesus never replaced Judas at the table. Later on, the disciples replaced him. <coughs> but the table, there was always a seat that was vacant at the table. And the reason for that, because supper isn't over. Right. Supper is over. The meal is open ended. And the Lord gave me this several years ago. There's a reason why that seat was never replaced by anyone else after Judas left it. It's so that every time we come to the Lord's table, yes. we're coming to the last supper to drink <coughs> a cup of blessing once again with Him sitting in the seat that Judas vacated. Amen. The seat was reserved for the church. Yes. Somebody shout praise the Lord. The seat was reserved for the church. Are you willing to follow me this morning to the Last Supper? Yes. And we're going to go from there. And we're going to find a tremendous journey until we find ourselves looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith over here. How are you looking forward to that? Yeah. I'll tell you what I want to do this morning. I want, to, I, want, I want to find that hymn in there, I Surrender All. Can you find that hymn in there, I Surrender All, key of C, which is wrong, I think. And I'd, I'd like for us to get that blood and make sure that that blood is smeared, smeared all over you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because life is in the blood. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, if we can move these, if we can move these props, I'd appreciate it for the time. Hallelujah.